Well, our winter weather advisory that was in effect for most of our viewing area was allowed to expire at noon. Now we have a winter weather advisory, but this is mainly north of I-40. So just to the north and east of Asheville, this is until 6 o'clock tonight. This includes Burnsville, Old Fort, Grassy Creek, and Newland as freezing rain, along with some rainfall, maybe even some sleet is possible in your area. Speaking of the mountains, this is where we saw some ice accumulation today. Just a few reports to kind of give you an idea as to who had the greatest impact. Impact. Downtown Asheville reported ice in some spots of about a tenth of an inch. In Hendersonville, anywhere from about a tenth to half an inch of ice. And then in Saluda, some of that ice actually piled up on power lines and brought some of those down uh, earlier today. So lots of freezing rain mixing in with rain at times. Right now, we've got a little bit of a lull and temperatures are climbing just a little bit. So the threat for any more freezing rain, at least across our viewing area, is pretty much dissipating out to the west though we've got another round of rain and this is going to be cold rain temperatures right now mid and upper 30s we might get into the low 40s today but it's still going to be very cold in fact it's cold all across the area and there's a little bit of a wind chill at the moment as we take a look at looking for some of these areas where we do still have a little bit of freezing rain you can see most of that now is confined north of i-40 so temperature wise mid and upper 30s we're in the low 40s across oh say alberton 40 for you and 45 in Franklin. When you factor in that wind chill, and boy, if you've stepped outside recently, you know it's cold. It still feels like most of us are in the 20s and 30s. So future cast showing us some cold rain heading our way as we go into this afternoon. In fact, in the next couple of hours, we're going to see some widespread rain begin to redevelop as the tail end of this system kind of gives us its last lap. Might see a couple more areas of isolated freezing rain or even a little bit of sleet if some of this rainfall fall comes down heavy enough, it might force some evaporational cooling. So it's still possible this afternoon. Uh, but as you see, as we go throughout, say, 3, 34, 5 o'clock, that becomes less and less likely. By the way, this is just in time for the evening commute. So we'll be dealing with some rainfall during that time as well. As we go into 7, 8 o'clock tonight, most of that rain is gone. And then we'll gradually spend the night clearing out for most of us, taking a look back into portions of Tennessee and right on the North Carolina border. This could be some slick spots or some icy spots on area roads tomorrow morning. So if you happen to be traveling up there, just be on the lookout for black ice as some of these roads expected to refreeze again overnight. In terms of how much rain we are expecting, anywhere from half an inch to an inch, that will be the average as we go throughout the day today. Some of us could get a little bit more. Some of these cells bring in some pretty heavy rain at times. So today, temperatures upper 30s to low 40s. But tomorrow, look at that. In the words of Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's going to be nice. Highs near 50. We're seeing a nice warming up trend heading into the weekend and warmer still on Monday when winter officially begins.